I'm standing here in front of IU Arnett Hospital because I wanted us to spend today praying for the health system in our community. And number one, the health care providers, both the nurses and the doctors and all of the support staff who work in this building behind me and the other hospitals and medical facilities in this town. Uh, but I also wanted to ask you to join me in prayer for all of the other supporting kinds of things in the community. Uh, we're going to be praying next week specifically for our schools, but I'll at least mention that right now there are petitions that are circulating in our community to require the schools to require masks and other petitions that are requiring the schools to not require masks. We're in this environment where almost anything associated with the COVID pandemic has become debatable and political. And the reason we're praying for the people in the building behind me is that they have been stressing out about this whole thing for more than a year now. There are two things that are going on, especially among the nurses in our hospital and in hospitals around the country. First of all, there's just the general mental health, the general stress that has been on them for this entire pandemic season. They're stressed out because early on they didn't have enough personal protective equipment. Later on, they weren't sure they would have enough ICU beds. Later on, we weren't exactly sure if we'd ever get a vaccine released. But now the nurses and medical professionals, particularly the nurses, are facing a new crisis. There's no good way to describe it other than a kind of fatigue. You see, what's going on is that now we know how to prevent coronavirus spreading. Now we know how to prevent the COVID disease through masks, social distancing, and above all else, the vaccinations. The doctors and nurses in the hospitals know that we can prevent it. And yet still on a daily basis, new patients come in. Tippecanoe County is still a high transmission area. And so the temptation that the nurses and doctors are facing is to blame the people who are coming in sick for their own sickness. That's a tough place to be when you're trying to love someone and care for them. But that's the place where our nurses and doctors are finding themselves. So I wanna ask you to join me in prayer to join me in prayer that God would give grace and compassion in abundance to the nurses and medical professionals who work in our nearby hospitals. That you would ask God with me to give them so much patience and so much love for the people that they see that none of the other COVID fatigue would start to weave its way into their hearts. And then as a result, would you join me in prayer that we would be a community that finally gets this thing right and that the scientists, the medical professionals and the average ordinary people on the street that we would all begin to agree with one another that we can love each other well. So let's pray for the nurses. Let's pray for the doctors. Let's pray for the hospitals. Let's pray for the medical professionals. Let's pray for our Tippecanoe Health Advisory Board and let's pray for ourselves that we would get our job done right especially in this season, and move past some of these challenges we've faced.